Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spar. Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about homomorphic encryption. What is it exactly? Does it spell the demise of our privacy? Or is it a new type of encryption that could revolutionize and protect our privacy? This is a complicated question and I'm going to be diving into it to discuss it in this video. Now guys, if you haven't already picked a VPN, make sure to check out the VPN quiz I myself designed. You could find it in the description and pinned comment down below. Take the VPN quiz, find the perfect VPN quiz from you, source my ratings over of over 70 plus VPN providers. VPNs are great to encrypt your connection to the internet, hide your information for ISPs, torrent, unblock streaming content, and more. Anyways guys, back to the video, thanks for your support ahead of time. Now guys, so I found this interesting article talking about this new type of encryption, homomorphic encryption. So guys, what exactly is homomorphic encryption? Well, this article gets pretty deep into the weeds, but I'm going to try to explain it to you very simply. Basically, let's say if your data is a key to something, let's say, uh, you know, Bank of America has certain information about you. That information, if they access it, isn't really encrypted in the same way that something else might be. So theoretically with homomorphic encryption, your uh, data can still be encrypted, but they can look at it without needing to decrypt it or anything like that or store it in plain text. Now, some of the people who envision homomorphic encryption, Ron Rivest, Leonard Alderman, and Michael Dusertsos at MIT first described this concept of homomorphic uh, encryption, and they even uh, led the, uh, the development of RSA, which is used in VPN technology for encryption. So that's pretty cool. But apparently one of the problems with homomorphic encryption is that it requires a lot more storage and that can be complicated uh, for data. So basically the way uh, normal encryption works is that there's a private key and with that private key, the company can access data. It's only available from the key holder. The messages can sometimes be intercepted, but without the private key, the information is encrypted or gibberish. This is how encryption works with HTTPS, Signal and some other encrypted applications. Now the problem is, as I was talking about, is without homomorphic encryption, if a company or firm wants to access data, they need to have that information decrypted. And this is why, as this article explains, lots of companies just have tons and tons of data sitting around on encrypted that they can access. And a lot of people don't really know what they're doing with it, what can be done with it, when hackers hack companies and steal this data, which happens all the time. It seems like every day I'm reading about some data breach or another. Now, homomorphic encryption would change this paradigm, letting stuff stay encrypted, but still be able to be accessed. It's a pretty big deal if you think about it. Now, like this article suggests, to be practical, it would have to be sped up a lot. Some of these researchers seem to have found a way to uh, speed it up and make it more practical. Now, homomorphic encryption does seem pretty promising, and it seems like most companies are starting to realize that. And this article does a good job of explaining why IBM has been working on it since 2009. Apple and Google and Huawei have been best inv investing in researching this technology. Uh, Microsoft is doing it. Uh, Meta is also doing it or Facebook. So a lot of people realize how good this could be. However, one of the reasons homomorphic encryption could be problematic is that it doesn't necessarily stop companies from interacting with us or observing us or using our data. It just might prevent more data breaches and stuff like that. It lets them interact with our data more securely, which is still problematic. Not only that, but theoretically, if these companies and firms have better security and better encryption, it might make them more confident and do more things with our data or feel like they can't. At the end of the day, if they're not leaking any private information about you, couldn't they theoretically do whatever they wanted with the data you give them? Now, an interesting application of this could be something like a uh, a neural network kind of analyzing fall data. Theoretically, you could use webcams and other things to monitor people and see if they fall and get hurt and call local agencies. However, something like this hasn't really been possible due to the fact this data would be uh, unencrypted and people would be spied on all the time. However, with something like homomorphic encryption, 
basically this person would never be able to be uh, uh, this data would never get out but it could still be accessed so in some ways uh, you know hackers and other people couldn't see the data but the company itself could still see the data it's still problematic I think but interesting Theoretically, let's say people are worried about Amazon and Alexa always spying on you and stuff like that. A big concern is that a hacker could access Amazon or other vulnerabilities and view your data and view you in your webcam. But with something like homomorphic encryption, what it would do would ensure that this never happens, but maybe employees still could access that data perhaps. Hmm. They just wouldn't be able to see that it's you. Theoretically, I'm not really sure how this would work. Either, like I said, the company itself or the form could still see the data, it would just be more secure, or there is also the possibility um, that they would have it working kind of within that confined encryption, but not able to view the data, but still somehow use the data. It's definitely a little complicated and you kind of need to be a data scientist to understand it completely. And I'll put some links in the description and pin comment if I do remember, so you guys could read about it yourself. Whatever the case, this does seem to be an interesting development in encryption. So what I could understand about homomorphic encryption and at least how it would benefit VPNs, theoretically what it means is that your data would just fundamentally be more secure. Imagine creating an account on a VPN website. If that VPN ever wanted to access that data to help you with something or to fix something with the VPN, they would never have to decrypt that data or use a private key to do so. Not only that, but since there is no private key, uh, the data would fundamentally be more secure and not be able to be compromised from other issues or hackers. Take for example the NordVPN vulnerability that happened years ago at this point. Basically what happened and what made it so scary is that a private key did seem to be leaked and they had to refresh that private key. Theoretically with a private key, a hacker could decrypt data, which is really bad. But with homomorphic encryption, the need for that private key is no longer there and the data always stays encrypted and never needs to be decrypted, fundamentally making a VPN more secure. I think for the network especially would have huge benefits um, and it could have some benefits for user accounts as well. Just encrypting and keeping uh, contents of user accounts more secure. Of course, I'm not a maker of VPN. I just know a lot about them and review them, but I think in the end it could benefit VPNs a significant amount. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video, but I thought it was an interesting concept and I hope you guys appreciate me trying to wrap my head around it. Let me know down in the comments down below if you understand this stuff and what you think about it and i'll see you in the next video very soon